Okay, we're with Kendall Cross at the U.S. Olympic Training Center. And uh, Kendall, uh, tell us what it's been like to work with the 2009 U.S. World Freestyle Team uh, the last few days and, and, and helping them get ready for leaving for the World Championships. Well, it's, um, well first of all, it's been, it's been a blessing just to be around them. This is a great group of guys. You know, they're all first, uh, first timers on the team. And, and um, they're really eager to learn. And they listen, they're attentive, they work hard. Um, I like their camaraderie. There's a lot of good rapport amongst each other, and even with the coaches. And you know, I stepped into this and uh, not knowing that, and it, so it's been a, it was a pleasant surprise. And I really like working with them. Um, we've gone over a lot of technique, and it's uh, it's been um, they're picking it up. Tell me a little bit about how you think they're doing. Do they look sharp? Do they look like a team that's um, ready to do some damage at the worlds? You know what? I, I think so. I think if they go out and they fight, if they just grit their teeth and fight, um, they have good enough technique that it, I think a couple of them could win, you know, and I hope they reach their goals. You know, it may not be this particular world championship, maybe, but um, it's going to set the tone and set the pattern for how good they're going to be. You know, I just hope they grit their teeth and go hard. Tell me a little bit about some of the, the technical things you've been teaching them. Uh, you'd mentioned to me that, that Coach Jones and, and, and Coach Slay and, and Zadik said you had some specific things that you could offer these guys. Right. I mean, where this, this style is going because of the rules the way they are um, is a lot of hip lock seat belt position. And um, that just so happens to be where I wrestle. And, you know, I spent my last couple of years in uh, competing trying to make world Olympic teams with that position. I was seeking that position and uh, trying to find ways to get into it, under underhooks and overhooks, and I had a lot of tricks in there. So I came in here and uh, they exposed these, uh, these moves to these guys, and they loved it. You know, they really, you know, it was really neat to see them respond to what I was showing. You know, I, was, I, was, uh, I was just moved by, by how valuable I could be to these guys you know, at a time in their lives when you know, they're looking to try to be world champions and win worlds and be world champions. And, Olympic titles, and um, if I can be a part of that, I'm in. I heard you wrestled a match today. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me how that went yeah. and what it's like to, I, I mean, got tired. you know, <laughs> it I did. Got tired. <laughs> Who'd you wrestle and how did I it wrestled, go? Uh, I wrestled Trip Paulson. Okay. And, um, when I put it, they made us wear singlets, and uh, I got nervous. I got nervous. I couldn't even say, I was like, why am I nervous? I don't this shouldn't, it's not a big deal. <laughs> I was nervous like I was wrestling again. <laughs> I guess it never goes away. But, um, we uh, wrestled the, the first match of the, of the tournament. We're simulating the World Championships today, and that was his first match. It's supposed to be the bad draw, you know? <laughs> and uh, I won, I actually won the first round. And, um, and then he beat me second round 6-0. Mm -hmm. And I think the third round was a lot to a middle. <laughs> but uh, I did all right. Well, you know, that's Trent Paulson. He's the number one guy in the country. And How do you feel out there? Do you feel like somebody who, you know, is gonna, is gonna do a good job? To hit him? Yeah, Trent. Trent. Yeah. You know what? Those coaches tell me he can win a world title. He's knocking on the door. He's beating the best in the world at that weight. And um, you know what? If he puts together a tournament, we can have a gold medal at that weight. And, you know, I felt him. And I think that when he is doing what he can do, if he's on, if he's attacking, he can win a world title. Um, there's a number of Olympic champions have been helping out training camp this year. We've had Mark Schultz around, John Smith's the world team coach, mm -hmm. and Brandon Slay is one of our coaches here. You've been helping out with the, with the athletes okay. for quite a bit. Uh, what kind of things can you bring to these young people as an Olympic champion that, that can help them uh, reach the level that you were able to when you were wrestling? Well, uh, you know, first of all, I think it'd be good for these guys to know they can be done. You know, I was fortunate enough to be around Kenny Monday, John Smith, Mike Sheets. During my early college years, you know, right, out of, right out of high school, I was around these guys. And I got to see how they trained and, and how what they did to prepare. And by, by virtue of doing that, I was able to see and, and know that, hey, this is, this is doable. I got trained like that. I got trained that hard. And, um, and so, one, I think if we could instill in them a faith um, and a belief that they can do it, you know, and have faith in their training, have faith in their coaches, buy into what we're doing, what the, what the system is. And if we can just keep, keep, help them believe, you know, they've got the tools to win. You know, we've got a good team. And they're young and they're encouraging each other and, and very attentive. And I, it's a special group. I feel it's a special group. Tell us a little bit about the feelings you get being able to coach and work with people at this level that must have some satisfaction seeing yeah. them seeing them improve. You know what, I think I may appreciate it a little more than the average coach here because 
um, I haven't been doing it for a while. I, I've been away from the mat, and, and so to come back in and to have the impact that I feel that I have this week and last week, uh, you know, I want I want to stay involved with it. I want to help these guys win titles. And, you know, somebody helped me at, at, a, at a time when I was trying to be a champ. And um, if I can be that guy too, you know, help somebody else win, you know, it's been really special to me. It's it's, it's been emotional. I don't. These guys are gonna leave in a couple of days, and, and this camp's gonna be over. And, and I'm, I'm not going with them, and so it kind of makes me sad a little bit. I want to be a part of it. It's, it's, been, it's been special. But you feel they're pretty ready, huh? Yeah. yeah. They're ready. They're ready. Outstanding. Thank you, Kendall.